Hi guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm giving you a load of creative merch ideas for your band or you as a solo artist because everyone has t-shirts and posters and I wanted to inspire you to think a bit more creatively with your merch and to really find some items that your fans will love and to increase sales and just to add a lot more value to your fans and their experience at your gig or when they're shopping online at your store. So hopefully this video will get your creative juices flowing and prompt you to sit around with your bandmates or with some friends if you're a solo artist and get inspired and research some ideas for your own merch and obviously using this video as your starting point. So the first thing to consider here is remember your brand values and your brand image. So if you haven't built that for yourself yet, then I'm gonna link some videos below and some link videos up here somewhere. Go do that first, because you need to have an idea of what you're about first before you think about merch. I think for me, merch comes a little bit further along in the journey. Like I wouldn't have that as a priority at the beginning. I would make sure you've got some music under your belt, some gigs under your belt, and a fan base growing before you invest in merch. But that's just my opinion. You're free to do what you want. So yeah, make sure you consider your values as well. That's really important. So if, you're, if you portray the values of eco-friendly and sustainability, then you have to consider that in your merch. Because if you appear to have those values and then you have cheap t-shirts from some not organic cotton and it's made in a sweatshop then you're just not adhering to those values and that will come through eventually my dog's wandering in Hello. so yeah so consider your values and brand image before you delve into merch also think of your audience what would they love what items would they love even if it didn't have your name on it can you provide real value there with an item and then also have it branded so it, you kill two birds with one stone, in my opinion, with that. And also try to have different price points. So you want some very, very cheap items, some medium ones, and then up to some more expensive ones. So if someone is seeing you at a gig for the first time and they just wanna like just, just buy into your brand a little bit, then they've got some items there. And then for the hardcore fans that have got all the smaller items, you can have some bigger items as well so they can still they can still be investing in your journey and in your products and in you as a band. Plus they're getting added value each time they purchase something, if you get cool items. So here are 10 ideas to get you started with your inspiration for your creative merch. And if you have any to add or any ideas while you're watching this video, then add them in the comments and then hopefully we can get a little list of fun ideas going. And let me know what current merch you have as well and what you'd like to do in the future. Right, let's dive right in. Okay, so the first one is small useful items like memory sticks with something exclusive on, lighters, anything that can be small, affordable, and fits that sort of bracket of items. Second one, going vintage. So cassettes, vinyl, VHS even. It doesn't have to be a workable VHS, but you could have even like a VHS tape as more of display purposes with an image of your band on it, or cassettes could potentially actually work. Just, yeah, explore, explore. There's a label here in Denmark that actually sells cassettes for their artists and it's really cool and it's just, it's just different. Vinyl's still going strong, I think, as well, so that is always worth a consideration, I think. Idea number three, food. <laughs> it's really easy online to buy branded sweets, so just Google. You could have, I think it's like rock style sweets or like M&Ms, that kind of thing. You can get them branded for any, you can either have your logo on or a letter or something. But yeah, explore the world of branded sweets because that's always fun. And also if you're a quirky kind of weird band, tinned food, why not have baked beans <laughs> that are branded with your band? You never know, in the right circumstance with the right brand, it could work really well. And everyone is gonna spend a couple of quid on a branded can of beans, let's be honest, especially in the UK. Four, could you have something related to your city or your country if you're a very local band? If your activity and live gigging is predominantly local, then consider something to do with that. Like if it rains a lot, then get branded umbrellas. Or if you're by the beach, maybe inflatables or swimwear or swim accessories. So consider weather and what your country or city is known for and maybe play towards that. 
five soft furnishings now all this stuff will be very dependent on your brand i feel like this one is specifically um brand dependent but maybe a wall hanging or a throw or a blanket those things can work so well and again if you have any sort of eco values just be aware when you are purchasing this stuff that it adheres to those values because i think that's a really important point to remember six Again, depends on your genre and style, but skating accessories, a skateboard even, like a, a branded skateboard or rollerblades, like just, uh, there's just so many options, guys. Seven, hats or hair accessories. This could go for gender specific or it could be unisex, just little hair clips. Cute, right? Obviously, again, dependent on your brand but could work really well and is a very small, easy to purchase item. Eight, useful kitchen items. So this is like, there's so many options just in this category. Bottle openers are great. Whenever you go away, you never take a bottle opener. Whenever you go for a barbecue at the beach, you always forget a bottle opener. A little branded bottle opener that attaches to your key ring maybe, flawless idea. You've also got wine stoppers, coasters, mugs, maybe even a reusable water bottle. I know Chili's, I think they offer branded solutions as well, and they might be at a higher price point, but depending on where you're at in your career and how much you're investing in merch, that could be a really cool idea, especially if you do have sustainable and eco values. Nine, little plants in little branded pots. Oh, so cute. Maybe not so cute if you're a metal band, but again, I'm just throwing ideas out there to hopefully spark something that is right for you. Also little seed packets. I've been given like freebie seed packets in magazines and stuff before. So they've got to be quite cheap to produce. So that is another consideration, especially around if you're doing a tour in spring or just before spring. Great idea guys. 10, now this is a weird one, but I think it's definitely worth looking into. You could collaborate with a local business on something. For example, maybe a beer or a coffee or even a scent. Like there's got to be options, there's so many options there. Consider your local businesses and if they offer any products that would work for your audience and for your merch, and then consider approaching them and just seeing if there is the possibility of that collaboration. This again, it will probably be once you're much more established, but it's just, I'm just trying to get the ideas flowing and to for you to consider just thinking outside the box in regards to merch and also for possible future ventures, it's always good to have those ideas in mind. Plus, it's always worth networking with local businesses as well because you never know what will come from that. So yeah, like maybe a local brewer, brewer, brewery or a local coffee shop could offer something there, even a cake. Maybe you could have like little cupcakes. But yeah, you never know what can come from this. So it's just, these are just some ideas to get you started. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any to add. And I hope this video was helpful and not too weird. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much. And thank you if you have subscribed or liked the video because I also appreciate that very much. Bye, see you next time.